Welcome to Beyond the Map powered by Astro Gaming. My name is Jared Dunphy and today we'll be looking at the remake of Lockout, now known as Lockdown. Lockdown is an asymmetrical map with six main locations including the middle area, elbow, sniper tower, lift tower, battle rifle tower, and library. Located at the top of the sniper tower, you'll find the sniper rifle with a spawn time of 40 seconds. On the bottom floor of the sniper tower, you'll find the plasma pistol that has a 30 second spawn time. On the opposite side of the map, under the library, you'll find the sword with a spawn time of 25 seconds. And finally, we have the shotgun located in the green hallway directly underneath the middle of the map. This has the shortest spawn time, which is 15 seconds, but depending on how the game plays, you may not even use it. Before we go into the lockdown strategies, here's a quick rundown of the most important callouts. BR1, BR2, BR3, Open Ramp, Back BR, Closed Ramp, Short Bridge, Library, Library Window, Library Entrance, Sword, Bottom Middle, Top Middle, S1, S2, S3, Elbow, L1, L2, and Green. Now let's jump into the lockdown strategy. Depending on which game type you play, the flow of the map changes greatly. Typically, 4v4 Team Slayer plays very slow, but Free For All gets pretty hectic. Regardless of which game type you play, you almost always want to avoid the lift tower since it's basically a trap once you're inside. When playing against a good team, it's very difficult to get out without dying many times. Besides that, the BR Tower and Sniper Tower are the two most important places to control, but there are pros and cons to each setup. The Sniper Tower is valuable because it's relatively easy to set up on, plus the Sniper Rifle, Plasma Pistol, and Plasma Grenades spawn near you. If you run low on ammo, you can safely run over to the elbow and grab a carbine for some extra long-range firepower. Even though the Sniper Tower has a better selection of weapons than the BR Tower, it is a little cramped which makes it pretty easy for the enemy team to kill you with grenades. On the other side, the BR Tower is easier to defend than the Sniper Tower. You have a lot more breathing room and plenty of cover to hide behind, but be careful. You can quickly run out of ammo and be at a huge disadvantage. Basically, it's only effective if you have power weapons or an objective in there. If you manage to do that, expect to see a ton of points start rolling in as long as you play properly. Defending or attacking a setup is something you'll do quite often in a competitive lockdown game. Keep in mind that the sniper rifle is used as a defensive weapon. The player holding the sniper typically wants to stay back and take down enemies one by one from long range. The sword, on the other hand, can be used as an offensive and defensive tool. You can either protect an entrance to your setup or plan an attack with your team and lead the charge with the sword for easy kills. One last thing I should mention is how effective the stalactites are on this map. One thing I like to do is shoot them just enough to cause them to crack. Once I need them to fall, I can shoot them once more to wreak havoc on my enemies. That's all I have for this episode of Beyond the Map. Stay tuned for the next episode of Quick Tips where I'll show you all of the useful jumps on lockdown. If you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, be sure to leave a message in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching.